Hello Virgo, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about what your person is currently thinking or feeling about you and what are their intentions, their true, genuine intentions towards you, towards this connection. Keep in mind that these readings are general, so they will not and cannot resonate with every Virgo watching. So let's jump right in for Virgo spirits. What does Virgo need to know? regarding love with the person they're thinking about or connecting with at this time for Virgo. What do we need to know for Virgo? So let's start with what's going on in the connection and we'll go from there. What's going on in the connection between Virgo and the person they are thinking about or connecting with at this time? What's going on between Virgo and this other person. What's going on between Virgo and this other person? Five of Swords reverse, the Hangman, Page of Swords reverse. So, hmm, not sure how that's gonna work. I think someone uh, cannot see what the other person sees or there's like a misunderstanding. Um, I also get the sense that some of you are in a connection where there's a desire to improve things, but there's no communication or not enough honest communication. So how can that really happen? Okay, tell me about Virgo's energies. Tell me about Virgo's energies in this connection. Four of Pentacles. Tell me about Virgo's energies in this connection. The Chariot Reverse. Okay. Tell me about Virgo's person. What about their energies? What do we need to know about the person Virgo is dealing with? What about their energies? Ten of Cups Reverse. What about their energies? Yeah, it's like you're both not doing well. And the hangman is right here in the center. So it's almost like maybe this is all due to someone's viewpoint or their perspective. Maybe they can only see things in one way and one way only. I'm going to have to clarify this and see. But with the chariot reverse on your end and the four of pentacles, it's almost like on your side here, there's no movement forward. There's no opening up or... Or action. And on their side, I feel like they're unhappy, um, but also feeling frustrated or impatient perhaps. Maybe things aren't moving quickly enough, or maybe they're tired of waiting for something to happen. Um, let's see what else we need to know. Tell me more about this connection between Virgo and their person. Tell me about this connection between Virgo and their person. Tell me about this connection between Virgo and their person. What do we need to know? Tell me about this connection between Virgo and their person. What do we need to know about this connection? Patiently waiting, standing firm, closed off, yeah. What else do we need to know about this connection? between Virgo and their person. Spontaneous, impulsive, and unplanned. Get one more. What's going on in this connection between Virgo and their person? Sensitive, responsive, and per perceptive. And we have happy ending. So some of you, this is like a family situation or there's something here where you're trying to make things work or improve, but it's just not working. And it can improve because someone's closed off. There's something that's not being communicated or someone's not open to an idea. Um, there's like a waiting period here. So I'm trying to like slowly decipher this because I'm sure that there's a reason why these um, energies are coming out for you. So let's clarify. The Five of Swords reverse, first card that I have here. 
it's a card about overcoming a conflict. So right away I'm thinking there's been a problem or an issue, you know, that you're dealing with here. Between you and this person, there's some sort of problem. And then I see the Page of Swords reverse. This could be someone closed off, someone not opening up, someone not being honest, or someone that's not a great communicator. This could also be a message that's not being delivered, so we'll have to clarify. Tell me about this Five of Swords reverse. What's this about with the Five of Swords reverse? Why is the Five of Swords reverse here? Four of Wands. Tell me more about the Five of Swords reverse. Why is the Five of Swords reverse? Knight of Cups. So someone here could be apologizing with the Knight of Cups and the Five of Swords reverse and then the Four of Wands kind of being like a card about stability and domestic bliss, harmony. Tell me more about the Five of Swords reverse. What do we need to know for Virgo? Yeah, the world. Let's start over. Let's move on. Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Maybe something needs to be unloaded, right? Like if someone is keeping something to themselves, or if someone has held on to this apology for a long time, or hasn't expressed remorse, or whatever this Knight of Cups is, I feel like it's been a burden. Ten of Wands and then the Ace of Wands after that. So one before the other. A burden has to be dropped and then we can start this new cycle. Um, so why the hangman? Why is the hangman here? Why is the hangman here? Four of swords. So this is someone not doing anything. Not communicating, not acting, just reflecting, thinking, planning. Um, imagining what action they would take but you know it's just not happening this could be somebody doing a lot of thinking about the situation tell me more about the hangman but there's no action here tell me about the hangman ace of wands so someone's picturing a new beginning with an empress energy but i don't see anything happening so tell me about the page of swords reverse why is the page of swords reverse why is the Page of Swords reverse? And I'm sh wondering if you're this hangman. Yeah, someone here is holding back, but maybe it's not for the right reason. Seven of Swords with the Page of Swords reverse. This could be somebody that's not being honest. And it doesn't have to be someone that's not being honest with you. They could also be lying to themselves. This could be somebody hiding something. Tell me about the Page of Swords reverse. Why is the Page of Swords reverse? Six of Wands. So there's a purpose to why they're not communicating something or why they are deceptive. They have a goal in mind with the Six of Wands. So I'm not going to lie to you, Virgo. I don't like the look of this because I feel like Whoever's trying to fix things, it's not this person, Page of Swords Reverse with the Seven of Swords. I think one of you is trying to improve the situation and the other one is not really cooperating. Um, or making things worse when they really should be made better. Um, I feel like someone is hiding something. And I don't know, it doesn't look good. Someone in your connection is not being ethical or being sneaky or doing things behind the scenes and they're not communicating this to the other person so how can you have an ace of wands in the world a four of wands and a knight of cups how can that happen with this hangman i feel like this hangman is kind of the reason you know this page of swords reversed the seven of swords it makes sense now why the hangman is here it could even be that someone's using words instead of action Right? It's easier to, to say something than it is to actually take action. Tell me more about this Seven of Swords. Tell 
Tell me more about the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Why is the Seven of Swords here? Ten of Wands. This is what's causing all the problems. This could also be that someone just hasn't been honest about something in the past. Not necessarily that they, I feel like someone's just been holding on to something that they should have said, but they haven't said it. And I'm wondering if that's you, because you have the Four of Pentacles, but it could also be your person because they're unhappy. So maybe they're unhappy with their own choices or, you know, they're unhappy because they haven't gotten what they want or haven't been able to unburden themselves. So let's get some more energies out here regarding you and this other person. Now, Virgo, I have you on one side and I have your person on the other, but feel free to flip these energies if they resonate more for you. Tell me about Virgo's energy. Tell me about Virgo's energy. What do we need to know about Virgo's energy? What do we need to know? What do we need to know about Virgo's energy? Main female. I feel like you're the empress and they're the emperor. Feminine energy it does not have to be a female, like in terms of gender. Bad health, yeah. Okay, tell me about the person Virgo is, has, or will be dealing with. What do we need to know about their energies? Thief and unexpected income. Yeah, they're hiding something, but I feel almost like, I don't know, maybe intuitively you know something's off. But this thief card with unexpected income, that's the seven of swords with the six of wands. It's almost like by being a seven of swords, they're getting something in return. Tell me more. Tell me about Virgo's energy. Tell me about Virgo's energy. The black egg. Yeah, this is about an important truth. Tell me about Virgo's person. Tell me about Virgo's person. Okay, that's way too many. Tell me about Virgo's person. Yeah, they have something to say. There's the frog, which is healing energy. So what I'm seeing so far is if your person is trying to heal the situation, or has something to tell you for whatever reason this is like wrong they're not supposed to be it's it's not the right approach or they're not supposed it's like they're sneaking off or doing something behind your back it's really really weird And you're over here with on with bad health. So you're not doing well with the situation. Or I have a feeling that you, with this card here, sensitive, responsive, and perceptive, and then standing firm. It's almost like your intuition has guided you to be strong or firm. Because you can smell that something's off. Or you can sense that something's off. It's almost like you already know the truth about something and you just are waiting for them to come clean or something like that. And then, I don't know, this is really, I just get the sense that this just isn't great. So let's, let me jump down here to your energies, see if we can get some clarity about what the heck is going on here. Because I feel like maybe I'm missing something and it just hasn't shown up. So let's start with you, Virgo. Why the Four of Pentacles? This is usually a card about holding on to something, keeping something to yourself, being guarded, protective. And you can almost interpret that as holding back as well because you're not giving, you're holding on, right? So tell me about the Four of Pentacles. Why is the Four of Pentacles here for Virgo? Knight of Pentacles. Tell me about the Chariot Reverse. Tell me about the chariot reverse. 
Why is the chariot reverse here? The hermit, there you are, Virgo. So Virgo, I feel like when I see the Four of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles, I feel like you're holding on to an opportunity or an idea of an opportunity, an idea of some sort of offer with the Knight of Pentacles. However, with the Chariot Reverse, there's a stuck energy or there's no movement. And with the Hermit here, it's almost like no communication maybe, or you don't have all of the answers or the information that you need in order to move forward. Ace of Pentacles. The, the higher font is at the bottom of the deck as well. So I feel like you have an idea of what you would want. Tell me about the chariot reverse. Tell me about the chariot reverse. Why is the chariot reverse? There's a Ten of Cups again. Happy ending is here, which is based on the Ten of Cups and the Judgment card. The Death card, Scorpio energy. It could be that you have to let something go or end a situation. And I think that the reason I say ending a situation, like as an, an action you have to take, because Judgment is all about uh, receiving some sort of awakening, um, something's resurrected, you've learned from your mistakes, you're able to have better judgment now that you have all this knowledge. Um, so when I see the judgment with death, I almost get the sense of someone realizing that something should end. But I feel like if you're the one that needs to end something, you have not made that call. You haven't made that call yet because the chariot is reverse. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles. Can I get one more for the Four of Pentacles? Nine of Pentacles. Doing things on your own, being independent, secure, successful. Whatever this Knight of Pentacles is, I feel like this opportunity is one that is presented to you. And you have to decide to, to move towards it. But if you are this Empress here, because we had the hangman, the fourth sword, so no action, but imagining a new beginning and then an Empress. An Empress is definitely similar to a Nine of Pentacles in that they have what it takes to get something done. They are very valuable recognize their worth so I'm getting very conflicting energies right if this is an offer coming to you I feel like you are holding back despite the fact that this is a great opportunity for you you know if this is a knight of pentacles is showing up you're a chariot reverse you're thinking about it but it's almost like to accept this knight of pentacles you would have to end or change something in your life Maybe that's where the hesitation comes from. So why is the Ten of Cups reverse here on your person side? Why is the Ten of Cups reverse? Ace of Swords and Page of Cups. I feel like this person has hurt you. Yeah, Ten of Swords. It's like they're apologizing for something that has happened. For some reason, it ruined a good thing. The Ten of Cups is reverse. Why the Three of Wands reverse? Why is the Three of Wands reverse? Why is the Three of Wands reverse? Five of Cups. Yep. Why is the Three of Wands reverse? Why is the Three of Wands reverse? The Wheel of Fortune. So I feel like this is about timing. Um, there's the Nine of Cups at the bottom. I feel like this person hopes for a turnaround with the Nine of Cups in the wheel, like a, a better opportunity, something that's, you know, changed. You know, the events improve. They're lucky. But why is this coming up? Why is the Six of Wands showing up with the Seven of Swords? 
I feel almost like this person might be afraid to tell you the whole truth about something because it will ruin their chances of recovering you or fixing the problem. But the Ace of Swords is here with the Page of Cups. So this is very honest communication, open communication. Can I get one more for this wheel? Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? The Devil, Capricorn energy. So I'm not going to lie to you. This is a mess, Virgo. Let me get one. Can I get a secret move for this person that Virgo is dealing with? Get some insight guidance on this person's energies towards Virgo. What do we need to know about this person's energies towards Virgo? What do we need to know about this person's energies? My heart belongs to you. You matter to me and I wasn't ready. I feel trapped at the bottom of the deck. That's that devil energy. So I honestly feel like this is a situation where things could be fixed. Things could be resolved, Virgo. But I feel like you're on different pages. You have different like agendas. And this seven of swords with the page of swords reversed. I feel like this is someone that deceived you. But if this already happened between you, if they already lied to you, I have a feeling that they're trying to fix that, right? And hoping for a good outcome. However, I don't think that fixing things is that easy because I feel in your mind, they haven't told you everything. I think that's why you haven't made any sort of move yet. You know, you deserve to have all of the information before you make your decision. You deserve to know what deep in your heart you know is already true it's almost like it's almost like whatever happened distanced you from this person or caused a rift and so now you want this person to come completely clean for you to even trust them again and I have a feeling that for some reason even if they were to tell you the entire truth I don't think you would believe them. I think that this person lost all of your trust. And they're hoping for a miracle almost with the Wheel of Fortune here. They know that they they did you wrong. Um, I do feel they're going to tell you the truth or apologize openly and honestly that they ruined something good. But I almost get the sense that you just want to know the truth so that maybe you are vindicated or your suspicions are confirmed or you feel good about the decision that you're about to make, which I think is to end this. I feel like you're going to end this no matter what. And I don't know if anything would change your mind. Maybe too much has happened in this connection. Maybe you don't think you guys can come back from this. At least as of the time of this reading. Of course, I could change in the future. So I'm going to see where all of this is headed. And I'm also going to look at um, these energies from your person because I want to get some insight into what their intentions are. Because I, I really felt like it, their intentions were questionable and I can't ignore the cards that are here. So I kind of want to get some more insight on them. And also insight on what you can expect next in this connection.